Hi, I'm Melinda Rose. And I'm Laura Marshall. And this is Light Matters for July 13th, 2011. In this week's Light Matters, Metamaterial Slow Light, we take an inside tour of IPG Photonics, talk to an investment analyst about Newport's recent acquisitions, and preview Lauren Publishing's Fiber Market Report. New optical nanostructures can slow down photons and fully control light dispersion, an achievement being touted as a major telecommunications breakthrough. Engineers at Columbia University created and observed a metamaterial with zero refractive index, showing that light disperses through the material as if the entire space is missing. The negative index medium was cascaded with a positive one so that the complete nanostructure behaved as if it had an index refraction of zero. This is the first time that simultaneous phase and zero index observations have been made on the chip scale and at the infrared wavelength. This phase control of photons is a big step forward in figuring out how to carry information on photonic chips without losing control of the phase of light. It could also enable self-focusing light beams, highly directive antennas, and possibly even cloak objects. Well, this week, IPG Photonics welcomed the Photonics Media editorial team for a tour of the company's headquarters in Oxford, Massachusetts. I wasn't able to attend, so what was the trip like, Laura? Oh, it was a really useful tour and educational, and it was a lot of fun, too. We met with Bill Shiner, VP of Industrial Markets. Uh, he walked us through not only the corporate structure and goals, but also the workings of the uh, fiber lasers that they produce and then the facility itself. We got to see lasers in action with demos of marking and cutting. Um, we got to bring home a little souvenir, this little ruler, uh, which was made right before our eyes. Um, it's an example of just how detailed and how small they can print something on metal using just laser marking. Um, another demo they showed us was fiber splicing. It was really interesting to see how fast the fiber can be spliced by trained professionals. Um, they told us new employees are put through a rigorous three-week course to learn precise fiber splicing. And uh, they mentioned they can splice up to two kilometers of fiber. We also got to see them preparing and testing whole laser systems. Uh, in general, it was a really good day and we appreciate them inviting us into their facility. In other IPG news that we got today, Elliott Scientific is going to uh, distribute their low power fiber lasers in the UK and Ireland. Newport Corp announced it will acquire both Ophir Optronics and HiQ Technologies in the past few days. Speaking about the Ophir acquisition, which was announced July 8th, Mark Douglas, Vice President and Senior Equity Analyst at Longbow Research, said, quote, We like the deal, as Ophir is a well-respected brand and expands Newport's addressable markets. Importantly, it broadens Newport into industrial markets and reduces the impact of the hypercyclical semi-equipment business. Newport has clearly turned the corner on profitability and is well on its way towards sustainable mid-teens operating profit thanks to significant actions undertaken the past couple of years to improve its cost base. Longbow continues to rate Newport shares buy and maintains their 12-month target price of $25. Newport's not the only one making business headlines this week. Safety, Health, and Sensor Technology Group Halma announced it acquired photonics components maker Avo Photonics for an initial payment of $9 million in cash. Avo joins Halma's photonics businesses, FiberGuide Industries, LabSphere, Ocean Optics, and Ocean Thin Films in the health and analysis sector. Avo senior management will stay with the company, Halma said. The fiber optics components market has been expanding aggressively, and Lauren Publishing has just released a seven-year forecast for the market, written by David Chafee, a 30-year veteran of the optical components industry. The new 162-page report identifies numerous growth sectors where business and technology will intersect between now and 2017. Solid growth is projected over the life of this report, driven by global expansion of wireless-generated and internet traffic. Only fiber optics will be able to handle the expanding loads on our global networks, and only this report will spell out the key areas where vendors should focus. The market for fiber optic components, a seven-year forecast, is available in print or digital formats. For more information, visit photonics.com. Next week on Light Matters, we'll have an exclusive chat with Chafee on where the market is headed. Well, that's it for this edition of Light Matters. For more on any of these stories, visit photonics.com. We hope you'll share Light Matters, and you'll find the icons to do so at the bottom of this player. We'd like to hear from you. Please send your comments or questions to lightmatters@photonics.com. You can also follow Photonics Media on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and remember, if it's light, it matters.